Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Um, I took a bit of a break over the winter break. It still is a winter break, of course, but... Um, and in that time, I did a ton of levels. And I was supposed to just do, like, you know, two off-camera, just as, like, a practice to see what goes on. And, like, just as a practice to basically see which dynasty troops are good against which things but I kind of got carried away and I did one I mean sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten levels off camera which I'm sorry I did not mean to do that um so now basically there's like one two three four five six seven left pretty sure these are gonna be pretty hard because this one took a long time to finish so let's try Zeus and the other folks I haven't seen it yet okay so everyone's in the back there with Zeus I see okay um hmm I believe a dragon may be good against them I have to see about that though I'm gonna put two dragons and Let's say a row of fireworks archers right along here. Or actually, I'll take one of these guys out. Because it's 280, so I can just put two samurai in its place. Hopefully, we can decimate them before they can kill my dragons. Because dragons are strong, but they, they don't have much HP. And they die pretty quickly. So I'm hoping we can kill Zeus, because I feel like that's going to be... I mean, it's, it's named after him, so that'll probably be the hardest to kill. And the last, um, in the last level, I'm pretty sure there was, like, a Minotaur. And, I don't know, from my understanding of Greek, my, Greek mythology, I'm pretty sure a god is stronger than a creature. So, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we won with, um, less stuff. So, oh, okay, a new map. What's this? Never, never seen this map before. Oh, look, it's like a Greek city, looks like. Um, nope, I don't want to zoom in there. So, Ballista. Interesting. Well, they gave me 6,000, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty challenging. I'm going to put two dragons right here here to try to take out those people pretty quickly um gonna put one Huacha. i love saying that name actually it's really it has a certain ring to it and actually i'll put two one there as well and then the rest i'm just gonna fill with a bunch of fireworks archers just around the place because they die quickly when they're all in one place so hopefully we can kill the front line really quickly, and then the Huacha can help take out the Ballista. Oh my god. Yeah, those are strong. I did not expect them to be that strong. Oh, but looks like they're pretty easy to take out. Okay, um... Is there one more left? I think that's the only one left. Okay. Easy. It, it, got, it, it looked hard, but then... Turns out to be a bit easier than I thought. Oh. Oh, Zeus has returned, I see. There's two Zeus now. Okay. Well, I'll do dragons again. I think I'm just gonna spam dragons. Or maybe not spam, I'll, I'll put four. That seems like a good amount. And then with the rest, I'm just gonna... Hmm. I'll put two Huachas. I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work. Cause like pretty much all of them are just low HP. All of my troops, so. Okay, well we took out the front line quickly. But again, Zeus is really strong. So I doubt we can defeat him. Unless like we <laughs> focus everything onto like one person. Which I'm pretty sure even then he'll still like see. He got bombarded by fire and arrows, and nothing happens. Only one of them died. Hopefully that guy... Okay. Um, decent. 
four people left. We may be able to take them out, but most of them are far away, so. Okay, well, they have low HP, so. Okay, I think actually we can do this, because the Horchows in the back haven't even been touched. Okay, yes, we won. Okay, I'm gonna tab. Tab, okay. So, I wanna actually check. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is ice. So. Ooh, okay, so we're in the last row of these levels. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay. So, this is called Compact Formation. So, I'm pretty sure just by the name, we can determine what we wanna use. Which is, of course, gonna be spamming dragons and hochas. So, let's put two dragons right here and then i think we can fit three hochas maybe i'll put one more here okay let's go come on um hopefully this will oh wait what is what killed them so quickly wait i didn't expect wait what i don't know what they're using oh are these the berserkers I think they can jump really quickly. So, hmm. Okay, so this strategy is not gonna work then. So I'm gonna put Huachas. I'll put three there. And then for the rest, I'm just gonna keep a bunch of fireworks archers. Try to keep them spread out, but kind of compact. And we'll see how this goes. I'm pretty sure that's not. Yeah, the Berserkers. They're really strong. And they jump high, so the Hochas are just useless. They shoot randomly. Dang. We died even quicker that time. Hmm. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna try two dragons here. Or actually, let's, I think this one's too far out there. Put two dragons there. And I'm going to try Monkey King. I've actually, I think I've used it once before. I may be wrong. But, I mean, I'm just praying that this is going to work. But I still doubt it will. I'm just hoping the Berserkers are going to go for something. Oh my god. They're so strong. Okay, it all relies on the Monkey King now. There's no one else left. I mean, I, I think I've used the Monkey King once off camera, and then I fought it once. But me, all I remember is that it disappeared one time in one of the episodes. Yeah, the Berserkers are really strong. I think Monkey King was the right decision, though. Because they can jump all over the place. So, I'm going to take out one of these dragons. Actually, I'll take out two, but I'll replace one. Put one right in the middle here, right smack there. And, oh, actually, then we won't have enough for a monkey king. Um, hmm. I'll put more samurais then, I guess. I'm not sure if that's even going to do anything, but I don't know. We'll see. So, the dragon can only do stuff for a certain amount of time, and then it just dies. Cause, and then the people from underneath come out, but they're really weak, they die quickly. It seems there's a bit less than last time, but... Berserkers are still really strong. Like, even with three monkey kings, like 2,000 each, they're still really strong. I'm gonna try zooming in and see... Yeah, the Berserk is like, you hit them down, and then they're just still alive. Which, I mean, Resurrection kind of overpowered. Not gonna lie about that. Oh, yes! Okay, so the trick was just spamming bodies. Um, hmm. Are these just Berserkers? Yep. Ton of Berserkers. Okay. So, um, 
Hmm. Can I try dragon? Dragon. The monkey kings were really good. So I'll try one there and one there. And I'll try firework archers on the rest. Probably not going to do anything, but we'll see. Okay, so that was a good opening hit. The sides are kind of broken. Not really, though. People in the back, though, because they can just shoot there. Um, it could just be a giant ranged fight. We could try that as well. Hmm. I'm just hoping that the ice archers have really low HP and die easily. Because if that's the case, then we can just storm through them and take out that whole back rank. Which seems to be happening a bit with the two monkey kings. And there's a third one arriving, but it looks like they can freeze him. So that may be hard to defeat. I think, that, I think three of them are still alive. Oh yeah, I think we'll win this. Unless the monkey kings just... Oh wait, there's only one left? I don't know, I, I think they just... Huh. Okay, well we won, so that's nice. I believe we're on the second to last. But I will have to check that. Map select. Click to... Yep, so these are going to be the last two. I'm going to save this for the grand finale of the series, which will be next episode, which we're, we're going to be... Finishing up Blizzard and finally the ultimate Viking army. And then we're going to be done with the Dynasty campaign then. Um, so be sure to ch um, check out that video when it comes out. Um, thank you for watching this and bye.